Hey guys, I'm in the San Jacinto Mountains right now. Uh, it's not a brag, it's just a fact, it's where I am. I'm about to open up a ice cold La Crotch, and that is a brag, even though it's a fact. And we're gonna do a Laguna Beach slash Newport Beach trail guide today. I say Newport because technically a little bit of it is in Crystal Cove is in Newport Beach. I'm gonna grab Pupper Pip, load him up in the car, because we are just about ready to go. Come on, Pip. Just parked at the Willow staging area. Put my gear on, and the first thing I noticed is that when I took Pupper Pip out this morning, I forgot to take off my America slip-ons. So, <laughs> they're grippy, they're vulcanized, so I don't have a problem with that. It's just I don't know how durable they're gonna be. Right out the gate, I park at Willow because you get this beast of a climb out first. You, you can park up at Coastal Peak Park on the other side and Crystal Cove and uh, loop down here that way. But this is <laughs> this will always be on your mind, this, this beast right here. You guys mind if I sneak in that spot? <laughs> On Willow, we're taking a ride on Bomber. So we're gonna head up Bomber, about a half mile. Bang a left. We just took a left on Morrow Ridge. And we're gonna head up a little bit and bang a left on Emerald Falls. A Little bit of a crest here. This is Missing Link on the right hand side. And I'm gonna loop back around to Missing Link. So keep this on our radar, we'll be back here. And right over this crest, we're going to get a little downhill into Emerald Falls. We'll see how these slippers are going to do on this trail. We're going to hit a left here. A little loose, sandy. Windy single track, it's super fun. Tight corners. Just keep your eyes open for cactus. We're about to hit a cactus garden in a minute here. That'll grab your arm for sure. Make your legs all yucky. And we start the descent now. Not that we weren't descending, this is just a steeper area. Ooh, sandy. Sandy. little rutted in areas just keep your eyes open that should be my catchphrase keep your eyes open there's a little dropper here in the end nothing too crazy and there you go as Emerald Falls 
This is a little bit of single track just to take you out to the fire road for the climb out. And I'm so really surprised. These slip-ons were so, so grippy down that. Secret trail on the right. <laughs> All right. By the way, this is Emerald Canyon Road we're taking up. It's a pretty steep climb right here, but after this, it's kind of gradual. Whew. Second to breathe. Get out of here, flies. Come to Laguna. You'll get in shape really quick. But you'll do some suffering <laughs> to get there in a good way. Top of Emerald Canyon Road, we're taking a left back onto Bomber Ridge. And we're just going to repeat our steps from last time and head up to Missing Link. There's Missing Link again. We just did a loop back up to it. We're going to take a right up Missing Link. Really short fun climb and I don't know if you guys noticed but if you check out my other videos and this one I don't talk a lot about the trail ratings because when I post the trail you'll know by the color it is if it's green blue or black and enjoy the view when you're done taking in the view drop the seat head to the left and you got another fun descent waiting on missing link This one starts off super fast and fun. It gets a little flat in the middle. And then you got some climbing on the end. out a little here but it's not over yet we're gonna be crossing a fire road here into a climb get some speed and just keep going straight Follow this little switchbacky into the next trail. I think this one's technically called fence line. And it is, yes, the sign confirms. We're actually in Crystal Cove State Park now. We were in Laguna Wilderness previously, we crossed over. And we're gonna head over to one of my favorite trails of all time. One of the highest rated uh, bike trails in California, Lizard Trail. Little fun fact about Lizard Trail in the late 80s, it was a secret trail, a little off station spot. Became so popular, they opened it up a few years back to make it official. Coming to the end of fence line, bang a right, head through the gate, and make another right. And we're back on Bomber Ridge. I know that sounds a little confusing without looking at the map, but Bomber Ridge just goes straight down the middle of this sucker. All right, let's take the left on the Lizard Trail. This is one of my favorite trails. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. You start off steep, rocky, and there's some jumps. And then in the bottom, you go into a shady valley, and it's so cool. Jump here on the right. Hey guys. Yeah, there's a 
little drop here on the right. You can uh, opt to hit or not hit. And this leads you into a totally different side of this trail. Shady, cool, windy, fast. See what I mean? It's super fun. And get some speed for this last little climb. After a little hike a bike, take a break. And we're into the second half of the Lizard Trail. Rider. I don't have a bell, so I feel more comfortable with giving some kind of notice besides my hub. Fun and windy. Enjoy this little shady section because at the end of this little traverse, you've got a nice climb ahead of us. A laurel spur, head right. End of laurel spur, kind of bang it right up Willow. Head to the top. Top of Willow, banging a left. And now surprisingly, that fire road is called Bomber Ridge. This is gonna take us over where we wanna go down which is gonna be the best descent of the day on Laguna Ridge, better yet known as TNA locally. It's gonna take us down to the 133, which is the same road we parked on in the Willow staging area. And Bomber Ridge, it's not all climbing. So it might be a little bit far, it's about a mile, a mile and a half, but most of it's downhill with some short uphills. Beautiful views the whole way. Nice traverse. And this will take you up to Laguna Ridge, AKA TNA. Just a little fun fact. I don't know if you guys heard the trail art school that's also off of this trail, where we're gonna make a left at the crest. If you go right, art school I'd say is definitely double black. So if you look over here, straight ahead is the ocean. This is the bottom half of Crystal Cove. Right there is 133, which goes all the way to downtown Laguna. We parked over here to the left of the 133, and we're about to take Laguna Ridge straight down to that road. I'm gonna stop calling it Laguna Ridge. Nobody calls it that, it's called TNA. Just, I'm helping you guys out because that's what the map says, but nobody calls it Laguna Ridge. All right, let's do it, TNA. kind of windy not super steep in the beginning but then it gets rocky and steep halfway down oof it's loose so far these slippers are still feeling good very sandy
right is art school. We're staying left. Yeah, I forgot how fun this was. It's been a few months. This is going to be a steep, fast section up here. It's going to drop you down. To a straightaway here, kind of. Man, that is bumpy. A little more rocky here. Nothing too nuts. It's getting a little steeper. I know you can't tell on the GoPro, but it, it does. Definitely rocky. Stay to the right here. Don't do what I did last time. Watch your front tire and then you're gonna make a sharp left. Gets more rocky towards the bottom here in a bit. A little steeper here. Point your tire where you wanna go, don't forget. Our arms will be cramping a little bit right now. And we're at the street. That's the 133. And that was TNA. I'll have all the information I think is necessary for this loop in the description. Pulling into Willow. And that concludes our ride for today, guys. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. Appreciate you guys watching, and thank you for letting me bring your map to life.